Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moving to Maryland. I'm here with Nick and Megan. Hey guys. Hey. Hello. We're going to talk about a neighborhood we love. It's yes. true. Station North. Uh, all right, Nick. Where It's in the middle of a bunch of neighborhoods. How would you describe it? Matter of fact, it is a couple of different neighborhoods, right? It is. So it is comprised of three neighborhoods. So you have Greenmount West, you have Charles North, and you have Barclay. Mm -hmm. um, but people call it Station North because it's kind of deemed an arts and entertainment district. Um, obviously north of Penn Station mm -hmm. um, and north of, you know, Mount Vernon. So we're in that kind of central north of downtown kind of area. Mm -hmm. And it's really kind of blossomed over the past years to be a really, really great neighborhood. I'd been going there for years before, you know, to the Charles Theater, mm -hmm. um, to uh, Club Charles, mm -hmm. before knowing it was called Station North right there. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's a good spot, I think, in terms of access. You have, obviously, great access to Penn, uh, Penn Station, mm -hmm. which is mainly why people actually move to Station North, what other a, than yeah. Arts and District. Um, but also, you have very close access to 83 to go up north to kind of hit the Towson Timonium area, Hunts Valley. Um, but then you can also take the downtown streets to get further into downtown for the courthouses, uh, you and know, Harbor financial. Harbor East as well. Yeah. East, you know, exactly. I would say... Point. Yeah, I mean, Mount Vernon and Station North are definitely, for what you were saying, mm -hmm. like a, a, a go-to for people that uh, like work in D.C. but mm -hmm. want to commute down and, and have, yes. you know, yeah. be to the train station in just like five minutes. Yeah, and it's, you know, and it's close, you know, just over the bridge from Mount Vernon. So you do get a lot of people who work at Maryland or and work and study at Maryland Institute College of Art. University of Baltimore has the law and the business school there as well as the undergrad programs. So it's, you know, it's not a separate you know, completely different world from Mount Vernon. So there is a lot of student housing, a lot of youth in that neighborhood as well. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you drive right out of Mount Vernon, right into Station North, mm -hmm. right past Penn Station. Yep. And, 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 and vice versa. Um, you, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe like five years ago, I went to uh, an event at the wind-up space. Yeah. Really cool. And then went around to the Crown. Oh, I love the Crown. Oh, yeah. And, 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 Crown is and, the best. Uh, both... Uh, events were like great bands and just a really cool artsy vibe in that whole area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love um, Joe Squared. My friend, uh, she plays in a band and, and the basement, they'll have a oh yeah performance there and you get some pizza and you just hang out and have a good time. Yeah. I mean, it's so much stuff. Like you said, the crown is awesome. I mean, it's, it's a club that looks just so unimposing on the outside. And, you know, and then you have, like you said, you have the wind-up space, you have Metro Gallery, you know, there's performances, there's Baltimore Improv, which is right there. You have so many things in terms of concerts, plays, stuff to do. If you like that arts and culture scene, but like you said, at Joe Squared, I mean, it's got a blossoming restaurant scene as yeah. well in that neighborhood too. What are some of your favorites? Um, well, the most recent one that I went to and loved was Foraged. Um, the chef there just got nominated for a James Beard Award, oh, which wow. is huge. Wow. Yeah. So, um, and then Alma, which is a, a Venezuelan place. They actually used to be in Canton um, and then moved up to Station North and really absolutely food. awesome food. Yeah. Really, really good food. What about you, Megan? I like Joe Square, but I also want to hit the Royal Blue. That's a newer kind of restaurant and bar that just opened up, but they have like a... 70s disco theme at night that I want to hit because I love that kind of Yeah, genre. the people <laughs> that own Snake Hill, Snake Hill Tavern in, yeah. in Highland Town mm -hmm. opened that spot. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, um, green space. There's not, not any really big parts, parks in Station North. I mean, if you want to count the cemetery, but... Um, I don't, yeah, but you'd have to move up a little bit north towards Old Goucher and Charles Village with like Wyman Park Dell and everything like that to or go to back kind down of to Mount to, Vernon to or, Washington yeah. Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, access in and out of the neighborhood, pretty easy. Eighty three, you know, like like you guys said, if you're going north, all all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, walkability is good. Very good walkability. Yeah, for sure. Parking. Yeah, especially better than, you know, people say that it's a lot better than Mount Vernon, you know, yeah. and I'm not to knock the neighborhood because, you know, you do get a lot of traffic into Mount Vernon because you have the Meyerhoff Symphony and you have the Lyric Opera House. And you know, so that draws a lot of people who don't necessarily live in the city into that area. So people tend to say that parking is actually much better in Station North um, than, than Mount Vernon. But it is it's a great walkable neighborhood because, like I mentioned, you just go up a couple blocks, you have old goucher which has 
so many other great restaurants, things to do like a auto bar and places mm-hmm. like that. And then, you know, a little bit farther up, you're talking maybe like a 15, 20 minute walk. You're, you're right into Charles Village, um, which is, you know, a whole other great neighborhood with lots to offer. Remington. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, Remington. And, you know, it's that whole north of Penn Station area is, is kind of becoming this own, you know, resurgence of culture and restaurants and food and youth and, um, you know, becoming a really, really popular place for people in Baltimore. What's your favorite Korean barbecue over there? I don't know. What's yours? Uh, I like B1. We got a B1 uh, often. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, it's it's great. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, well, the one I know is is, uh, is Kong. Oh, yeah. Kong, yeah. It's right next to the other one, um, which I can't, the name the name escapes me. Um, but the one, the Kong, the reason I like it is they stay open really late. They stay open until like 2, 3, 4 a.m. doing late night food. And, um, you know, when you leave the bars or, or a show, I mean, you can go and, you know, get some Korean barbecue and, and all that good stuff. Yeah. How about you, Megan? Yeah, any other? Uh, oh, actually, you just said you, you've, um, Joe Square is your, your mm-hmm. favorite there. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about real estate. It's it's um, it it changes a bit from Mount Vernon, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you definitely you still see some of the brownstone style, albeit not as grand of a scale. You because with Mount Vernon, you're getting a lot of these huge like eight bedroom mansions, but you're seeing a lot of three story townhomes that are fairly wide. They have really deep lots. A lot of them, you know, they converted them into multiple units, but you still have a lot of them that are still the, their traditional single family, three story houses. Um, and then, you know, you're, you're pushing into, you know, some areas that are more apartments, but a lot of, a lot of the area of, you know, station North is, is, is townhomes. Right. Yeah. And, and I think in terms of affordability, it was a good range. You have some kind of like, sub 200s mm-hmm. but then there's also some developers that are buying them you know buying kind of a shell using the chap tax credit mm-hmm. to renovate them and then they're selling for almost like 300 350 400 yeah and uh, you, you know i have um some clients that have uh multi-unit a lot of multi-units in that station north mount vernon and then up into charles village because you have so many schools around there so yeah. it's yes. good um uh, good housing stock for, for you know for students absolutely and, um you know, a rain, it's good for anybody, but you just do find a lot of students. Yeah. And it's, area. and it's great. It's great for people who want to have investment properties. Like I right. said, you can get these three story townhomes that are probably already sectioned off, you know, into three separate units, all legal rental units, and you can rent them out to students. Some are, some aren't. Some, yeah. <laughs> it, if you <laughs> use, if you use a good real estate agent, you know, they'll definitely help you, you know, right. steer you in the right direction. But sure. it's, it's an awesome place. You can get some, some good houses there. So Nick, Megan, and I are real estate agents with the Greatest Moves team at Remax Advantage Realty. We're located in the city. We have locations around the state. Uh, we would love to show you around Station North, Charles Village, Mount Vernon, any of the areas around uh, you know, Station North or Baltimore City. Reach out to us. Our contact info is in this post. Take care. We hope to show you around. Mm-hmm.